pillow world. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> uh, Everybody just joined us for this one. Hi, Franks. <laughs> and there's a Jimmy Dean. Yes, Jimmy Dean. Jimmy yes. Dean and Franks decided since we didn't have a guest for this one <laughs> that they would join us on the microphone. He's like, right. Look, you want this? All the AM, AMSR. AM. Yeah, I know. You just, you could hear all. We have to use it now. You can hear him like sniffing around. He's like, what the hell is going on right now? Look, he's jealous. Look, he's jealous. He's behind you. Yeah. Hey, everybody in podcast world, look. <laughs> Did you see? You pissed him off. Good job. Uh, yeah, now he is not okay with the jokes that I have today. Oh shit, he almost fell on me. <laughs> Stop trying to so get So we have me. a basset hound that thinks he's a cat and yes. he is on the back of our couch right now trying to figure out how to get on the microphone with his mother. <laughs> <laughs> he says hello. Can I say hi? Don't eat the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it. For everybody that met us in, what was it, Indiana? Yeah, we went to uh, Evil Shindig. Evil Shindig. Everybody that met us in uh, Indiana got to meet Jimmy Dean, and now he's gotten even bigger because then he was a puppy. Yeah, like, he, he was. He, even a couple he lasted all of a lap, and then he passed out in the little cart, and he yeah. went to bed. So the custom couple is back. Yes. The last time we were on a microphone together was October of 22. Really? Yeah. It's been that long? That long. Damn. Our last interview was for Rod and Style Radio oh. with uh, Charles Phoenix. I mean, if we had to go out with a bang, we went out with a good one. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a good interview. <laughs> that one was so fun. And he complimented my hair and stuff. So it was great. Oh, he's so no, upset. Yeah. Now, if you, I don't think anybody can hear him. He can just sit over there and be upset. No, I snap, so now he comes. <laughs> I got him trained. But, yeah, that was the last time we were on microphones. And uh, so this is going to be episode 50 of The Custom Couple. It was originally for The Custom Couple podcast. We did 49 episodes. And then we stopped doing our own podcast and started doing the one for... Rod and Style. Yeah. And we did 39 of those episodes. So for the Custom Couple podcast, this will be episode 50, and we're back. So what the hell have we been doing for a year and a half? Um, I got braces. No, I got braces before we even went off. Um, I'm almost done with my braces. Uh, I've been driving Lux. A lot more, and then we're almost close to getting your 54 home. Not that we don't already have it, but you're getting a lot of work done at Martin at Brant's shop. Yeah, Martin Rod and Custom. Um, yeah, we've what your, your car went down Easter yeah. of 23, and yeah. then it was down for several months, and that sucked. Uh, okay. but we were able to get that starter fixed and back on the road. And of course, in South Texas fashion, we were in freezing temperatures last week, and it is bright and sunny this week, so we decided to, even after we put Lux away for the winter, we had about a week long worth of winter, mm -hmm. pulled them right back out of the garage today and threw some transmission fluid and ran. So, yeah, it's fun stuff. We're I know I, we don't sound as excited as we usually. I think it's just because we're tired. We've been oh, running been around. We've been running around all day. But no, um, we took our small hiatus, and you know everyone was asking about when this was going to come back. And I think we finally were just like, we can't wait until we're ready because it's just never going to happen. Well, yeah. What's funny though is we come back. Our social media is already blowing up, like blowing up. And uh, it seems like everybody and their mother went out and created a podcast. I know. I 100% agree. Like, I feel like there's so many different ones now. And then even when we decided to come back, you know, um, I don't know. Like, it just feels like it's like way too oversaturated now. Yeah. So I, I, 
I've been half and half about it this whole time of like, yeah, I want to come back. I want to talk. I want to do, you know, what we did best because we did do it best. I think and, so. And um, I mean, obviously, people asked for it back for a year and a half, almost two years now. So, I mean, but I just feel like there's just so many different ones. But I can't say there's a lot of ones that I like. <laughs> And that's okay. That's fine. No. You know, like I just, I've tried to listen to some and I've never been one to want to listen to ours either. I just have fun talking with you and then I kind of let it be. But I just, I don't know. There's, there's none that are like us. We say what we want. We do what we want. And that's really just the end of it. And I think yeah. that's why we were so well liked from doing it. And Jimmy Dean agrees apparently. Uh, Jimmy yeah. Dean's approval. <laughs> He's going to talk into the microphone for us. Um, you know, and podcasting is not a new thing. It's, no. And it wasn't even a new thing when we did it. It wasn't even a new thing when I had my old podcast. Uh, but there, you know, there was certain things that, you know, that were tried and true. And then there was just a, you know, run of the muck, you know, just saturation that just came about. And it's like, man, everybody and their mother just jumped on and made a podcast about whatever. Yeah. Like, and uh, he wants Jimmy to be your Dean best friend. He wants to be. Want to leave me alone. Let him get on you. He <laughs> wants to be your best friend. Oh, <laughs> let your best friend on. Let him sit on you. All right, all right, Jimmy Dean, you chill, you chill. All right, now that we have thoroughly pissed off the dog. Well, yeah, you upset him. He wanted to be on the podcast, and you wouldn't put him in the room, just like his brother Lou. Lou wanted to always be on it and got pissed off. So, yeah, it wouldn't. We would record. It wouldn't be a custom couple episode unless you hear one of the animals barking or meowing. Yeah, anytime we wanted to record, that, that Lou didn't bother us at all. Mm -hmm. The minute we would hit the record button, he would scratch on the garage door and start barking. Yep, like they know, they just know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> But, yeah, podcasting, huh? <laughs> oh, that was another thing. I'm like a whole, I lost basically a whole person of body weight. I'm like, I lost, what, 70 pounds? Yeah, yeah. So I, I just dropped 70 pounds in not even that long either. Eight months. Eight, eight months, 70 pounds in eight months. Yeah, that's what so. I'm at, so... I, I lived up to my name, Tiny Wife, because I wasn't living up to my name, and then now I am living up to my name. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, that was the main thing. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go crazy and work out all the time. And now I'm in pain, and now I get hurt <laughs> so well, much that, easier. That's the thing. Like, you discovered spin class. I know. And you know what's funny? I used to talk so much shit about spin. I was like, who the fuck does that? And now I love it. I go all the time. I go three times a week. It's great. And then I go to the gym. But no, I think that's, I mean, the main reason that we took our break was just, we were just so overwhelmed and tired and stressed. Not necessarily for, you know, it was just daily stuff. It was our daily lives. And then, you know, after we came back from Evil Shindig, I was just so exhausted and tired from everything that I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to step on stage anymore. I didn't want to socialize. I just didn't care, I guess is the right word. I just didn't care to do any of it, so... That's when you were like, okay, I understand. And then I just focused on my mental and physical health. And now I look like this, which nobody can see, which is great. But Hey, look. Hey, look. Did you see? Did you see? So it'd be nice to see. <laughs> it'd be nice to see. Exactly. And then, you know, you started uh, Mid-Century Media and then jumped on uh, with your good friend Rob. Yeah, for so, Corso Built. Yeah, so you started back with that, and then you know I started seeing how much fun you were having, and I was like, I want to have fun, <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to be the third wheel on that project. So I was like, Well, guess it's time to come back. Well, yeah, we we started Mid Century Media really just to showcase our house and all of the things these are that facts. We had, we had started having ideas of how we wanted to redo things and then we'd scrap that and want to do something completely different and you know we've really worked you know we had plans to do a lot of uh photo shoots and video type work and things like that but <clears throat> but like none of it launched but i just kept 
posting videos. I just kept doing things. That was another thing I didn't even try, and I got the cover of a magazine. <laughs> yeah, so internationally published, reigning, well, not reigning anymore. Yeah, it, it, I was reigning. cleared up. No, reigning, uh, you were Miss Invasion one year. I was you Miss were... Invasion, Miss Evil Shindig, Miss Caliente. Um, I forgot so, what the other one was. Multiple pageant winning pinup alt model <laughs> tiny wife here. Like we're, you know, we're in the, the presence of royalty. <laughs> no. Sitting in the living room. Um, but no, I, I you, decided, yeah. yeah, I did. It was fun. It, I, you landed the cover. What was it? It was rebel something rebel magazine. So, um, I was originally helping our friend Patty set up for a photo shoot. Cause she was going to do a photo shoot, uh, with some girls like a couple months later. Like I think in our, no, she was shooting it in August or September. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But, um, she was doing a photo shoot and she, her and Abe, her husband, they were the ones who got us in our neighborhood and like made us and showed us like how badass we could have a mid-century house. So she was doing a photo shoot soon and she hadn't <clears throat> she hadn't used or learned the lighting for her house yet and uh, so she was like, "Oh, let's just do it for fun." And I'd already chopped I chopped off all my hair, so I didn't really have hair, so the only thing I have I could do is finger waves and I was like, "Okay, well, I hadn't, you know, done anything in a while. I haven't been in front of a camera in a couple of years. So I was like, screw it. Let's just do it. And if we make something cool, we make something cool. We had no intentions of actually getting any good pictures. We just wanted, it was mostly all like to just set. So she could test equipment. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all the test equipment. So um, we wound up doing like three different styles. We did where I was in a robe and then we had the dress and then we had like the, um, like the mid-century mom like kitchen scene so we tried that and then at the end of it, i think we were there, like we only took like maybe 30 40 minutes we didn't even take that long and i don't think that's a long time at all but yeah so we did that and then at the time uh rebel magazine posted that they wanted uh and this was on instagram they posted that they wanted pictures like any kind just of like you know the pinup stuff any kind of pictures just send it and then, so Patty sent them in, and I think, like, right after the photo shoot, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, like, remember as I'm going, because it was very fast. So after the photo shoot, Patty sent me, like, all the unedited pictures, and she's like, we have a lot of pictures, so we can send them in and just see what happens. And we sent them to Rebel Magazine, and I think, like, two days later, or, like, maybe four days at most, they messaged Patty asking for more. She only sent, like, two or three and then whoever runs the page wind up messaging her and was like, hey, send us more. Like, we love this set. And so Patty was like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know. Like, they said they really like the picture. So I'm going to send them more and see what happens. They didn't even tell us that I was getting the cover. They didn't say any of that. They just said they wanted more pictures and it left it at that. It wasn't until they posted it that I figured out I got the feature because they posted the, the, uh, the cover of the magazine. Mm -hmm. And Patty messaged me, and then you were the one who originally noticed it. And yeah. so you let me know, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know. Like, we didn't know. I just thought it was going to be, like, a picture in, like, the magazine, like, just anywhere. Yeah, no, so it's actually Rebel 13. There you go. And you got the cover of, I guess it would have been, like, their September issue that got put out. And I know a few people, I think your mom even bought one uh -huh. and was uh, oh, yeah. flipping the pages through it. Uh, a few people picked that one up. So thank you all that, that went out and supported. Um, but yeah, that was totally out of left field. Like they just, it just showed up and like you didn't just get in the magazine. You got the cover for that month. Which was yeah, it was dope. September. It was. Uh, pinup issue number 12 and it was the September issue and yeah it was great it was me in the robe and like I said this was like completely we weren't even trying it but that was like a really good confidence because I was like damn I guess I still got it so you know <laughs> of course you do I don't know I'm getting older I'm not this young thing you met five years ago speaking of getting older I'm like a couple weeks short of 40 I know the big four o flirty big and forty coming up. Uh, so I've got a February birthday, which everybody loves. 
uh, especially landing right before Valentine's Day. That's why we don't celebrate we it. We don't. We don't celebrate birthdays or Valentine's Day. We celebrate them, but we don't try to. And we don't talk to people who say Valentine's Day. Ew. That's garbage. Like, why? <laughs> just get out. Just, just, just go outside, nerd. <laughs> go outside, nerd. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't have time to be bothered with your foolishness. Yeah. That but, or, or Tamari. Tamari. No, <laughs> Stefani. St- Stefani. Yeah. We're so stupid. We are I don't know. Stupid. We just, I don't know. There's like, I feel like there's so much that's happened. But like, as right now, I think it's probably just because I got to get used to talking on the fucking microphone again. Oops. Um, oh, I no, just, we can say fucking because we're not going to monetize this. Fucking. Yeah. So, but no, kids, like, I just go cuss at your parents. Don't cuss at the parents. But no, like I, I like I feel like there's so much that's happened, but we've just been so busy, and then I don't remember everything because it's just been like crazy. Well, We're still not done of, with the house. No, of course not. Uh, speaking of print media, oh yeah, uh, everybody go out and check out Rod and Style. They are bringing a print magazine for all of the crap that we love. Whoop Matthew whoop. Leland is uh, heading this up. So nice. Yeah. So that's awesome. Go go support that. We'll have so. to have him back on the show. Yeah, especially when that when that first issue mm-hmm. comes out. It's already I, I was told it's it's in the mail. So we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. And Damn. I'll, I'll reach out to Matt. We'll do and a get review him on about it. But uh, you know, go check that out. And then you know, uh, everybody and their mother, along with a podcast, has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, so. It, <laughs> We're we're only posting all of our podcast stuff now to our YouTube channel. So if you got YouTube, you're listening to this. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to be able to hear it. At least for now. At least for now. At we least might. for now. We may go back. I don't know. Maybe. Let's. I mean, that's up to y'all. Y'all let us know. Is it better to do YouTube or do you want us back on, what was it? We were on all the streaming platforms, Well, yeah, right? all the, the typical streaming podcast platforms. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, I guess y'all should let us know which one you prefer. Or do you want both? Because I don't know. There were some people who didn't really care for the videos. And some people were like, no, I listen to it on my drive. And it's easier when I have Apple Podcasts or Spotify. So True. I don't you know. know. I got a truck driver that told me it was easier for him to listen on YouTube. Hmm. And I was like, shouldn't you be driving your damn truck? I like, mean, he probably is, but. But, uh, but yeah, and we, at that time, we didn't post anything to YouTube. So he was like, I, I don't just, listen to your podcast. That's probably why we're never going to make money off this, because I don't fucking like YouTube. I don't know why. I just don't like it. And I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. I know we'd be good at it, but then I'd have to watch my fucking cussing, and I can't do that. Well, see, and that's that's the thing that I keep going back and forth with Rob about is that we're not big enough to sue. Mm-hmm. We're not cool enough to be worried about, you know, uh, copyright infringements or, uh, you know, if our stuff is catered to kids or not. Or, you know, all these things that go into the algorithm. Yeah. Right? Everybody is so worried about the algorithm. You know, to me, we're going to put out these episodes. Mm-hmm. And whoever listens, listens. Pretty much, yeah. And if they don't like cussing, they won't listen. I or mean, they'll leave a nice, ugly comment in the in the shit, you know, hey, whatever. Hey, hey, we had 49 episodes and never had a negative comment. Never. So I'm not worried about any of that. And if YouTube doesn't let us monetize our podcast, you know what happens? Well, we just keep growing a following. And our supporters will monetize for us. Oh, by, absolutely. You know, and I'm not here to sell shit. Oh, I'm no, not we're to not advertise. trying to do we're not trying to do um, any of that shit. again. <laughs> we're not doing any of that. This podcast seriously is going to be what we want. Yeah, it's going to be just the the the. You know, the stories, the facts, the fiction, the everything that we want it to be. We're not going to give you a a three hour live session of just talking about our brand, you know, sponsor that that uh, makes dish soap or whatever the fuck. I'm not going to do it. I I, no, I don't want to do it either. I just I can't. We 
we were lucky in the fact that the sponsors we did had did cool shit. True. But at the same time, you know, when we've decided to come back, we already, I mean, we're not going to tell y'all what we decided, but uh, we've decided what we're going to do this time and what we're cool with, what we're not, and just, just leave it at that. Throw it all out there the way we want, and if it fucking hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, well, at least we're doing what we love. Exactly. You know, and I feel like, you know, if you want to support what we're doing, we we welcome that. Yeah. Uh, support it by sharing it with your friends. Support it by, you know, commenting and liking stuff. That always helps. But, you know, just give us feedback. That's the biggest support you can do. Yeah. Give us feedback. Tell us what you dig, what you don't dig, and give us a conversation. You know, I we've got T-shirts. They're 20 bucks, lower 48. I'll pay for your shipping. But I'm not going to sit here and advertise stuff. Just droning on, no. on, and if you're outside of those low, lower forty eight, uh, just message me. We'll figure out how to get it to you. Because one thing I do want to do is we got to give a shout out to Terry from Canada. Yeah, we called him up, said, "Hey, we got a bunch of stuff here at the tattoo shop. Uh, you know, if you go find him on Instagram, it's Grenade Garage. Yes, we had him on our podcast. Great guy." Yeah, I hit him up and I was like, hey, I got a bunch of stuff here at the tattoo shop. You know, do you want it? What size shirt do you wear? Do you like this hat? Whatever. Like we threw a bunch of just a random stuff in a box for him. We used our shipping company that we always use. Mm -hmm. We paid something like $30 American. Yeah. Just to create a label to get that shipped out. Mm -hmm. He hits me up one day. Says UPS has his box and wants a ransom on it. Like they wanted money, collect was on it, delivery. Was it UPS or FedEx? I thought it was FedEx. No, it was UPS. Okay. He, he sent me the label that okay. they stuck to his door. Yeah. And was like, you know, this is a collect on delivery situation. And he told me he ended up spending like another 40 bucks. Yeah, just to receive the package, which we've never had that problem. I, I truly don't know what, un like, I truly don't understand what happened because I've mailed stuff to him before when his wife bought him merch from us. I sent it to her and she got it fine. So I truly don't even know what the fuck happened with that. But he didn't want to wait. He didn't want to send it back because I was going to send it back a different way through a different service. And I was like, okay, we'll do it this way. But no, he wanted it, and he was like, fuck it, I'm just going to eat it, and I'll take it because I want it. Yeah, I, the dude is rad. <laughs> oh, no, he's cool as shit. a big-time supporter. And that's my whole point is we've got people like that. Yeah. People that support what we're doing. Whatever merch comes out, they're always the first ones in line to grab a shirt or grab a hat or stickers or tell me they want keychains or whatever the hell we put out. And, you know, that's how this is all going to survive. It's not going to survive because we're going to sell out to some corporate sponsor and I'm, I just won't do it. I don't want to. We've done, we've done the business type deals. We've done the, the friend type deal. We've done it all. And honestly, we've learned that it's better to just do us. Yeah. For it's, real. We nothing, might not nothing. even have that many guests on our show. We're yeah. going to have some. No, we're definitely going to have, we're going to keep elements of our show, but it's not going to be the same. That's for sure. Cause it was just, I, I enjoy what we do, but I'm also not going to kill myself to fucking get an episode out every week. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the behind the scenes of what it takes to do a podcast like we did for so long. Like Ugh. constant messaging, constant texting. Constant I, that's why I left all that shit to you. <laughs> yeah, I you hated it. <laughs> I hated every fucking second of it. I did not like, like, I like the part of like, where if I got to message someone, they're like, yeah, cool, let's do it. As far as setting up shit, I hated it. Because you had to have like six to eight messages. And it would take, it would go about two days of six to eight messages with six to ten people of yeah, the same we shit. Had to set up yeah, because you next had to set yeah, interviews. Exactly. And it was just I was just not a fan of it. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the ones that came down to meet us and wanted to hang out with us, or the ones that like you could really tell they wanted to do it. And then you would have the ones that, you know, were more popular 
and they were just impossible and i get it you know if you're busy you're busy but at the same time it's like if you're trying to run a show have weekly episodes get everybody you need to like you're trying to cram and we did we would cram three to four guests a week and it sucked it was just so tiring and exhausting and then you know figuring out our life yeah i mean because you work you work 50 hour weeks i work 40 to 45 hour weeks like it was getting home at five jumping on podcast at six trying to eat dinner and then go to bed and start all over again and then still talk to different people the next day like it was it was just it came to the point where it was not fun anymore and then getting like trying to get to know somebody before you ever even meet them. Yeah. Trying to know things about them so we could have things <laughs> having, to talk about. We basically show. had homework to study. And again, this is not us just shitting on all of it. I promise you we had fun, but it was just stacking so high on our order list of shit we needed to do. And it was like, fuck, you know, we're trying to move. We're trying to find all these new things. We're trying to fucking work on Lux. We're trying to get like it was just so many things stacked on top of At each other. At that time, we had the Thunderbird that kept giving us a bunch of issues too. Uh, every weekend, we had a work day on one of the cars. Yeah. Uh, at the, we were also in car clubs. Yeah. Trying to do that whole thing. You know, if we 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 quit our car club. Yeah, we did. We left. Um, you know, it not under any bad terms. Oh, we no. Had no. We had no time. Yeah, we had no time for and anything. I, we really do want to do the podcast, and we really do want y'all to, you know, listen in and, and let us know how it goes. But we want y'all to know that, you know, the reasons why, you know, it, it was very successful. No, it was. But at the same time, it was a lot of work on top of us who work a lot already. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, shit, life happens and stuff, you know, sometimes you got to pause on it. And I think, um, you know, it was it was just getting to the point to where we were dreading it, having to do it every day. Like we loved it when we got, you know, when it was like a good episode and we had a good guest. We're like, fuck, yeah, that's going to be a good fucking episode. But then there was the days where it's like, I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sleep. Like, I don't, truly. And then, you know, of course, I'd had those moments where I couldn't because I was in the medical field and I could, I would get off at like seven o'clock, nine o'clock, and then I would have to tell you, like, hey, I can't come home because I got to stay at work. Yeah. So I had to miss episodes. There was a lot of episodes where it was like the custom couple with just Lane. Yeah. You know, and, and then when you got, and then you would get shit for me, like, oh, I wanted to talk with both of y'all, not just one. I'm like, I promise I'm coming. I promise I will be in more episodes. But, yeah, you know, there, there was a couple guests who was like, oh, cool. They're like, oh, so she's not showing up after all? Oh, okay. <laughs> but no, like it was just, it, it was one of those. It a little th- easier when it was Rod and Style Radio because then I could just be like, oh, I'm the host of Rod and Style yeah, Radio. Yeah, and it was know? like, I'm just the guest. I'm the I'm the second guest. But no, and, you know, and that's another thing. You know, I transitioned and I know I did transition from medical to where I'm at now when we had the custom couple, but it was still all brand new. So I was like, oh, trying to get the hang of everything. But now I'm fucking, I'm cool shit. Yeah, yeah, no, you've and you've even moved up the ranks at work. And, yeah, you know, you you've been kicking ass there. Uh, I've moved up a couple spots at my work, and I'm you know just kicking ass there and and working overtime like crazy. So this time around with the podcast, it really is going to be just what we want to do because we're not going to kill ourselves trying no. to trying to do what we did before. Now. I think it'll still have the same success as before. And I think people are going to dig the fact that we're, you know, we're going on and doing now. We're not just jumping on a podcast and just talking about everything. No, we're not going to just sit here and tell you about the freaking windows on the back door and how cool they are. <laughs> you know, no, be on the front front of well, the house. Well, windows. It's going to be it's going to be the same things that we loved in doing the first time. We're just changing how we go about it this time. That's really it. I mean, it's still the same thing. Like, I think one of the one of the things that I got asked and messaged about a lot um, was if I was ever going to compete again. Yeah. And if I was going to, you know, do the photo shoots and all that. Sorry. All that wonderful stuff. And it was, you know, I had to think really hard on it because, yeah, it's fun. I like being on stage. I had fun being on stage. And, you know, I love the people that we got to meet and the support and everything. But, you know, for me personally, I had to step away from it because I was just so tired. And, 
you know, I started like really looking at myself very ugly. And it's like, it's one of those stupid things that I hate about being a girl, which just fucking sucks is that like when you truly do not feel good about yourself, you do not see anything good. Yeah. And it's not even just yourself, just everything. Your whole outlook is just like, nope, fuck this. And I just, I had to step away from it. It was just so bad. So I think I will go back into it. I think I'm going to like slowly get back into competing because my ultimate goal is still there. I still want to make it to Viva and make the stage. Even if I didn't fucking win, just to make the stage is the biggest accomplishment ever. But I'm not, again, I'm not going to do that now because they already pulled people. But, you know, like I still have things that I want to do and, you know, photo shoots I still want to have. I'm just, you know, I'm at that point right now where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to dip my toe back in. I'm not ready to fully fucking jump in it. And I think that's where we're at with this. Like, we're ready to get the ball rolling, but we're also not going to, you know, oversaturate all the episodes. We're not going to, like, just be like, okay, it's Wednesday. We got to get the episode out. It's like, no, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. But again, it's going to be one of those things. It's like, well, if we're having fun, we're not going to mind it. It was when we weren't having fun that we did mind it. Yeah, when it seemed like a job. Yeah. So, it, you know, in some of these episodes, they might be an hour long. Yeah. Some of these episodes, they might be 10 minutes long. We're just going to give you an update <laughs> of, you know, hey, what did we do this week? Or if we got an event coming up. Yeah. Or, you know, um, you know, a car shows coming up. We're gonna have Skelly on the show. He rescheduled with me. We had a we had a death in the family when he was supposed to be in town. Yes. And uh, he rescheduled with me. The Rumble Cats are actually gonna. There's actually gonna be a few of them coming to town. Oh shit. And <laughs> uh, and he's gonna get with me. It's gonna be uh, later. I guess early February. And they've got their show coming up. So, like, there's going to be things like that where we, you know, we give y'all a shout out and say, hey, we've got about, you know, five minutes until dinner's ready. But here's an episode talking to you about where we're going to be this week. Yeah. You know, um, we definitely like have, for a fact, I know we have two shows that we are attending so far for this year. Um, we are going to where it's in July. Uh, Salina, Kansas, there the last weekend of July. Yeah. What, what, what show is that again? That is, uh, KKOA, uh, the lead sled spectacular. That's why I asked because I knew I was going to fuck that entire thing up. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not even going to try and say so she's that. She's got braces and rubber bands and little chain links in her. Yeah. She's, she would have just tumbled all over those. I words. mean, I still do. So I, was, I, you know, I didn't have braces. I'd still fuck that up. Oh, and then my braces are going to come off soon too. So that's exciting. But no, no uh, we are going to be going to KKOA. It'll be our first year going, and if all is said and done at the right time, we will be bringing your Merc mm -hmm. to go. We're gonna we're gonna be taking that out there because that's what the, that's the plan. The, yeah, the plan is to. I don't know if that would be a debut show or if I'm gonna get the Merc earlier and be able to take it to some other places. But I, I guess as a as a big car show, as a that's big car be a show, debut. that yeah, as a big car show, I wouldn't even even if you do get it before then and you drive it around here, that's not a debut. I think that show will be the show because that car has been in the book before that yeah, they make. Yeah. So So I feel like it's gonna be a big enough thing for you to, you know, have such a car that has history and stuff like that. Cause we've, you know, you've already said it yourself that you're gonna drive it around have it the way it is for now and then eventually change you know color schemes all that shit yeah just because you know people have been asking about this car yeah so we can even do a, a whole episode just on how that car came about mm -hmm. uh and how we ended up with it mm -hmm. so and, that, uh, that might be a, a future episode y'all can listen to we won't we won't then, completely jump into it yet <laughs> And then I also think that's going to be a show I might be competing in because Bethany, uh, I've been talking with her about that and because she, she lets me know when shows and stuff are happening or when she's there's... She's so sweet. She oh, I love her. I love her. She's so sweet. She's always asking how I'm doing and, you know, vice versa. It's just that that's what honestly made me want to come back more is that people were asking you know about us how we were doing what was going on it wasn't necessarily like yeah of course they were like oh when's the show coming back but they were also asking like about us and that was nice and it was like those connections were the ones that i loved the most but yeah so i've been talking i talked to her 
Um, and she was asking me if I was going to, you know, if I was going to try and uh, sign up. And I think I am. I think that'll be a good debut to come back and see how I do and see how I feel, really. Because um, that's usually how I go into all of the shows. I never know what's going to happen. And then, you know, I so happen to win. I'm like, yay. But then at the same time, I'm like, I don't know either. We'll see. But so we will be going to KKOA, which I'm really excited about because that's going to be a lot of fun. And then we're also looking uh, at Rustoberfest. Yes. That's the other one that we I were looking that at. that one is in October. That one's October. I think, don't quote me on it. I know it's around the 15th to the 17th or the 16th today. I don't know. I Closer know it, to time, we'll give yeah, you all the rundown. I kn- yeah, I know it's around those dates for sure. And then watch, I'm going to be fucking wrong. And they're going to be like, uh, those are wrong. It's all really, it's Thanksgiving Day. You right? Know? And it's no, like, it's well, not. Shit. I promise you it's not Thanksgiving But yeah, so Day. that's another one we're looking forward to that I really want to go to. Um... Yeah, so later this year, we're going to be hitting up some bigger shows. So what I'm excited about and what we're going to have Skelly on for is their show out in Houston, the Rally in the Alley. So anybody who's anybody knows the Rumble Cats. There's chapters everywhere. Yeah. Uh, all of their vests say they're from Badsville, which I think is rad. I know, that's I'm like the about, baddest. Like- I'm all about the big beat from Badsville. <laughs> so that's awesome. Skelly's always been super cool with me. Ever since we, we went out to the uh, the motorcycle event. Oh, man. Tripping. Trip, just tripping. Just tripping. See, we haven't been on the podcast in so long. I'm starting to forget all the things that we I mean, did. it also could be because you're turning 40. Oh, I know. Isn't that awesome? At least your wife is still in her 20s. Yeah, I'm 40 with a wife in her 20s. Who, Do not envy me, please. No, I'm a huge pain in the ass. We've talked about this. We've talked. I've learned that, you know. She's my favorite hemorrhoid. Exactly. Pain in the ass. I am a pain. I, I have, you know. That's gross right there because I know I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> I would never, I'd never admit it before, but yeah, I definitely know growth. that now. Growth. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, hashtag growth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. She just no, lost no, her growth no, no, points no, no, for no, no, saying hashtag. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, hashtag boss babe. Boss babe. <laughs> oh, my God. Remember when that was a thing? Oh, my God. That's so sad. Stupid. Oh my god, that's so terrible. I'm gonna get so much shit for that, but I couldn't help it. That's so fucking You're so anti feminist. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. I, I'm just such a terrible I, yeah. How come you won't cut your mullet? <sighs> it's just, that's so <laughs> stupid. Um but yeah, no, so we got a lot of exciting stuff. I can't wait to hang out with everybody. I can't wait to see everybody and you know, just be around good people because, you know. We we as we've both gotten older too, and I I know I joke about it with you all the time, but I've really learned that I don't like shitty people, and I can't poker face it anymore. I can't be like, oh, it's great seeing you. No, I straight up just reads on my face like I don't want to fucking be here. Yeah, and it sucks because I I gained that knowledge of people, you know, through dealing with shitty people. Yeah, like, you know, my whole life of doing all this. And you start seeing who, you know, from a mile away, Yeah, you start seeing like, I don't want to fuck with them. Mm-hmm. And it, it sucks, but it, it really does kind of give you a, like a, like a sour output on life because at the same time, you don't want to get screwed over, yeah. which I have constantly. Well, I was but, gonna say I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm like, cool, bye. I don't gotta deal with you. <laughs> exactly. So I, like, that's another thing. Like, we're not gonna have people on the show that that we don't really care to talk to. Like, if we have a guest at all, you're gonna know that we actually we wanted actually to talk. Like these yeah, people. we actually <laughs> want to talk to them, and we actually want to acknowledge them. Like, it's just we not that we had any really. No, bad we guests. no, we never had any bad guests. I think it was just having to deal with like certain people when we first started out. And then realizing what worked for us and who works best with us, I think that's that's really all it was about. The first the first yes. couple of years that we did it, we went through a lot of shit. We dealt with a lot of shit. We also had great times and great moments, but we've we're coming back now, knowing what we know and using it the right way this time. Yeah, absolutely. we're not trying to just stick our hands in all the pots and be like, "Fuck it, this is gonna work." No, that was too much. You know, I do have to say though. Because Chuck gives me so much shit about it all the time. What? Uh, you know, when we 
So we we recorded with Charles Phoenix, right? Yeah. And that episode came out on Halloween. Uh huh. And then we didn't do anything November or December. January came around, uh, and we we hadn't recorded anything. We hadn't put out anything. And Chuck always gives me so much shit because he always tells me that I broke up with him through text. Because I texted him one day and I was like, man, we haven't put out anything. So I don't think we're going to put out anything. So what you're saying is is that we stopped putting out. Yeah, we stopped putting out. <laughs> and he just kind of took the hint. No. Um, but yeah, he always tells me, uh, he's, uh, Yo, you broke up with me through text, Lane. Like, you know. What kind of girl does that? Um, well, you're married to a 20 something year old. So I was like, well, it was probably my influence. It was like, you just need to say something at this point. Yeah. Yeah. We hadn't put anything out in like three months. So I was like, we we're probably not going to. So, yeah, we, we got to focus. It's with, not you. It's us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Chuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we quit putting out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told Lane to stop putting out for you. But, I mean, he has been one of our best supporters, though. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, so we had our good Chuck. we had our good interactions and our good fun. Like, that's why we're going to come back around and we're going to have the people we want that we actually like. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're hoping for the best. But, you know, who knows? So, all right. I guess we'll save more of this for the next episode, so... I know this is kind of our filler episode. We just kind of wanted to, s I kind of wanted to just see how I would talk because I haven't talked like on a microphone and hearing myself. I'm like, ugh, I still don't like it. I'm still not going to listen to any of our episodes. It's whatever, <laughs> it's whatever happens in the conversation. I'm like, cool. If I don't remember it, not my fucking fault. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> and I, I don't even listen to these either. I We're don't. such terrible hosts. We're like, I don't even listen to this. Well, I mean, I, I respond to the people who do. Yeah. You know, we, we, we don't necessarily need to listen to our own show. That's kind of narcissistic. but um, You would think, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I guess the only time I would listen to it is if there was anything specific I needed to go back and like. Promote. Well, yeah, you're our media man, you know. But yeah, I'm, I probably am not going to listen to this. So if there's anything that we say on here, like be sure to leave it in the comments so you can remind me what I said. <laughs> um, shit, piss, fuck. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not going to monetize. Aggressive. <laughs> I know we said we were fine with being in the gutter, but fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but yeah, no, uh, this is going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. And, you know, it's a great way to stay in shape. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. But yeah, no, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot more fun this time. And I don't know. Y'all are just going to have to follow it and see the craziness or not. I mean, I really don't care. <laughs> if you listen to this, follow it. And if you don't, kick rocks. Yeah. Kick rocks, Goldilocks, and all things custom. Keep it cool. <laughs>